everybody, I'm Rosie, and today we are cooking prawn kebabs! From the Bingo in Bluey fancy restaurant cookbook. Uh, it's an episode with magical statues, I'm told. So, start, start stirring the uh, prawns and I'll talk about these ingredients here. Uh, basically, we combined a, a teaspoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of lemon juice, fourth teaspoon of garlic, and a fourth teaspoon of fancy mustard. And with, with a half pound of prawns or, or jumbo shrimp, you need to take the peels off. Okay, and then step number one, yes, is mixing them all around. Woo! So now they're all sauced up and stuff. And then the next step, let me move the camera here. The next step will be making, making the prawns, or making the kebabs. So we've got a bunch of different things to put on the kebabs. They've got, uh, it said a, a fourth, or is that a half? Half yellow onion. I wasn't sure how to cut the onion so it would actually stay on a skewer. So I tried, hopefully this will work. Uh, same with the, uh, the cherry tomatoes, right? So cherry tomatoes, I just cut them in half. And then the one that I really feel like I did well was the uh, the bell pepper, the bell pepper. So that I, I picked a yellow bell pepper and cut it into the kebab pieces. Okay, so Can I see you've that? got a prawn on there. Okay, you need to push the uh, stick thing through like you push it through okay. like that. So I have to use my hands. Yes, you do have to use your fingers usually. Ah. Uh, let me go around the other side. How do I get that on? Uh, like I said, I don't know how the uh, onion is supposed to stay on, but can you get the uh, tomato on? Yeah. And push it through. And then what, what, what do you want next on your little uh, kebab? Do you want the, uh, the pepper? Mm-hmm. I think in some places they let you make your own. So you want to put another shrimp on there or just keep going with the, uh, the, um, oh, did those fall apart? I think you'd cut the onion. Well, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to cut the onion so it doesn't fall off the, the, the pointy stick. Onions fall to pieces like that. Okay, okay, I get it. I did the onion roll. Ooh, did you kind of get the onion there? I think you kind of got the onion there. Let me try. Err, err. No, that just split it in half. <sighs> I think we're being too aggressive with it. No, no, I, I, I think I just messed up cutting the onions. Hey. Oh, you got one? She got one on. Um, okay, show it to everybody. Show it to everybody. Your hand's in the way. I can't see it. Did it fall apart? No, it didn't fall apart. We got an onion on our kebab. Hooray! We made four different kebabs because we only had four different kebab sticks. So the next step is what Australians call putting some shrimp on the barbie. Yeah, you're gonna cook it in a grill pan on medium for about eight minutes. And you know, you can use your tongs to flip them as necessary. It's a good thing I turned over the kebabs because I forgot to take the sticker off of the uh, bell pepper before I cut it. So let me remove that sticker. When the prawns are cooking, you should be able to hear the sizzling noise. They'll also change color, so it looks like they turn pinkish when they are cooked. Cooking the kebabs is tougher than it looks. See, like this one, it's it's not really balanced, and so it, it, it's heavier on this side. And so those ones are cooked all the way, but these ones aren't. So I kind of have to, like, push it down a bit. But that's probably why they want to have you alternate between onion, tomato, and pepper. That way, uh, both sides of the kebab are well balanced, and so it's easier to cook them. So here they are. These are the finished kebabs. We're going to eat them. I'll, I'll eat this one that's kind of undercooked. Uh, I'll be a good dad and let my daughter have the one which is actually cooked to perfection. The sacrifices I make as a father. The dad from Bluey understands. He understands me. I thought the kebabs tasted great. These are really good. I like them. Uh, what did you think? I felt... She doesn't really like eating fish. Is this your first time having shrimp or kebabs or prawns? This is my first time having this whole kebab or tomato. Yeah, this is like the first time she's had any of these things. Except the peppers. We've had peppers and uh, tomatoes no, before. No, no, no. 
Oh, you had them in the omelet we made. We also made uh, the omelet from the Bluey and Bingo cookbook. So if you like watching us make this, make sure to check out our other video where we make an omelet. Bye.